That's right, guys. You are being misled by TradingView strategies. You're seeing numbers like this, for example, and you think that now you're going to get rich very quickly. And the first thing you do is you go and you simply automate the strategy. You put your money and then you hope for the best. But let me tell you, that's why I do this video, that you can spot if this strategy can actually really give you the result or if it's actually a scam. It's not a scam because they wanted to make a scam, but because they're just bad developers, okay? So this particular strategy here is the best example for that. It's on the 15 minute time frame, and it makes a massive amount of money, right? Even if you go to the backtest here, the deep backtest, and you say, hey, how much money did it make from 2024? And you see 80,000% profit, right? With just 4% drawdown. That is amazing, Michael, right? Why wouldn't I take this freaking strategy and put all of my money, I'm exaggerating, of course, and then I'd be rich. I don't need anything else. Let's go. No. But why, Michael? I want to get rich quickly. Well, because the strategy is losing 144%, okay? And how can it lose more than 100%? Well, because the settings are wrong and because the strategy is developed wrong. So I will show you guys how you can figure out if your strategy that you're looking at has this problem that this one has. Most likely, if you have massive profit numbers, then that is the reason. One of the reasons in this video will explain why your strategy, especially on the short term, yeah, especially on the short term, if you have like 20,000% profit, 100,000, a million percent profit, okay, then one of the reasons in this video will be responsible for that. And if none of the reasons that I mentioned here are actually part of your strategy setup and your strategy's code, then you have found the perfect strategy. So that means you have to watch the whole video to figure out which things to look out for. And this way, guys, you can be ahead of the herd, which is also why you subscribe to this channel, because I'm giving you higher chances of success by giving you the education and the knowledge and the software and actually even the support in Telegram. If you join the Telegram, the link is down below. You will have the benefit of being able to chat with me and with the other members and being ahead of the herd once more. That's the whole point, right? You need to be better than the rest of the people that are losing money. OK, anyway, this is my introduction. Now, let me show you how to spot BS strategies and how how to avoid bad settings. Let's go. Okay, guys, I want to add the strategy to my chart fully fresh from the start. So I'm going to search for it. I'm going to click on it. By the way, don't use this strategy. It's a bad example of a bad strategy. Okay, so I'm adding it to the chart. It's on the 15 minute Bitcoin chart and it makes 3,600 whatever percent profit. Now, doesn't look that bad, right? But let's go to the settings here and let's instead of $10,000, let's put $1,000, right? And let's see what happens to the numbers. Now it makes more money. What the hell? How can it make more profit, more percentage profit when I put less money? It should be the same, right? Then I put less money. It makes even more money. Uh, what is happening here, guys? It's a bit spooky, right? No, actually, it's not. It's the first setting that you need to understand is the order size is one contract. And if it's one contract, then a contract can be very expensive, right? Because one Bitcoin is 60K right now. So if it goes and buys one Bitcoin, but you only have 100 bucks initial capital, then it looks like you got Bitcoin for free because TradingView allows you to do that kind of stupid stuff, especially if you work with absolute numbers. And the reason why they allow it is because they have to allow people to create strategies like DCA. And in DCA, you're actually adding more money into the strategy, right? Money that wasn't there before. You're adding, 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 right? And so they have this feature, but you can misuse it as well, okay? So a setting like one contract is not good, okay? That's a bad setting. So you need to go to percent of equity. Now, if you go to percent of equity, then you have to choose what percentage to give. Now, let's give the strategy the benefit of the doubt. Okay, let's put 100%. So it takes 100% of the money that it has available and reinvest it, reinvest it, reinvest it forever. Okay, now, this is not what you should be doing with your own real money, but this is for testing, for back testing, right? So if this strategy has a low drawdown and it actually has a low drawdown of 3.6%, which is quite nice, then you could do that, right? But for testing the strategy, if you actually like it in general, you can put 100 and then later on you try with lower numbers, right? And see how it performs then. But that's how I like to do it, to stress test it. If I give it all the money all the time, can it deal with it, right? Can it actually keep the drawdown low and also a lot of net profit? Cool. 
Now, the next thing that you need to know after learning this is that you cannot have a commission of zero, okay? A commission of zero doesn't make any sense. Any exchange will want money from you, right? And they should, right? They should stay alive by making money, okay? And how do you find out what the commission is for the exchange that you're using? Well, it's quite easy. Go to Google and Google it, right? Bybit fees, Bybit fees, trading fees, click. That's it, guys. This is the fee table. Quite simple. If you're not a VIP, then you pay 0.1. And why not? use 0.1, worst case scenario, right? If you have VIP levels, you might pay less, it's all nice, but if you are below certain amount of volume and they explain it all here, then you pay 0.1. Now, for example, there are other exchanges, let me go back here, like Kraken fees, they are very expensive, okay? So fee structure, first link, guys, okay? It's very simple, okay? So you go down and you can see here that on the spot, you pay for the taker. Taker is when you do market orders, you pay 0.4, which is massive, okay? So that means, not that they're idiots, right? But it means that they don't want people who trade on the short term because on the short term, you have so many trades, you pay them so much money, it doesn't make sense. So they wanna encourage people to use their exchange for longer term strategies. And by the way, at the end of the video, I will give you such a strategy that would work longer term even on Kraken. But keep in mind, okay, that this fee here needs to match with what you have in TradingView, otherwise it's unrealistic. So 0.1% is something that is way more realistic. Now, as you have seen, right, you see how much it has changed the profit. So if I go from zero or back to zero, then it makes 32,800%, which is massive, of course, because you get trading for free, right? But if you don't get trading for free, you pay 0 0.1, which a lot of people will, then you already have 10,800% less percent points. That's huge, okay? Just like keep in mind. And also you cannot have slippage of zero, guys, okay? Because you're on a 15-minute chart and on those charts, prices are moving very fast. And if you send an order, it will take a little bit to get executed, right? So you don't get exactly the price that is on your screen, okay? Because time has to pass. Physics, guys, okay? The speed of light. In any case, let's put three ticks here to be more realistic. But as you can see, it doesn't really change the result much. So that's actually good. Oh, guys, I have to show you one more thing. Going back to the settings, never, guys, never activate this checkbox. Because if you activate this checkbox, it will constantly calculate and it might get into a trade, but then the candle closes in a different way and it's actually not in a trade, but you are already in a trade because it does intraday or intra-candle calculations. So in order to not get wrecked, okay, because this is repainting, right? It's a repainting problem. In order to not get wrecked, please deactivate this before you automate the strategy. Actually keep it deactivated forever, okay? It's better to not touch this checkbox. This checkbox has lost people a lot of money, okay? Just leave it deactivated and now let's continue. And now we have a strategy that makes 20,000% profit. Okay, but how realistic is this freaking result? Because if it is, right, then we can put all our money and call it a day, right? But there is one bug in this strategy that you cannot spot easily. That's why you subscribe to this channel. And it's just based on the version of the code of the strategy. So there is PineScript and the PineScript is the language in which these strategies are written, okay? And the problem is that the old versions of PineScript have a bug, okay? And if you're using a particular function which the strategy is using, you can get screwed, right? Because then the results look better than they are, okay? So this bug is very hidden and that's why I'm showing you, all right? So you don't get wrecked. So I will click this button up there to copy the code into my own strategy that I can then edit. But I will edit only one number and that's the version number of PineScript. I will keep the code as it is and it will start losing money massively, guys, okay? And so if you are running this strategy in real life, those would be the real numbers. So let me show you how that works, okay? So I will now click on this button here. So this is the code, but I can't edit this, right? Because it's the code of the other guy. So I will click here on create a working copy. And then here I, I will change the title. I will say real, the real mega crypto bot strategy. I will just delete this because we don't need this short title. And I want to change this one number, okay? I will change it from version two to version three. That's it, okay? The logic of the strategy is the same. Now let's save this, save it here. And now let's add it to the chart, guys. And before I show you the numbers, we need to actually make sure that we have the same settings for this strategy as we have with the other one, because otherwise it's not fair, right? So we have 1,000 bucks, we have 100%, right? 100%, we have 0.1% commission, we have a slippage of three, we have this checkbox off, so let's go. Now, 
this is the real result of this strategy, guys, okay? And as you can see, it loses almost 60% of the equity, right? I mean, uh, let me go back to the other one, right? This one makes 20,000%, same time frame, okay? Same everything, same settings, same everything. It's the same strategy, okay? It's just interpreted from the PineScript version 3. Okay, but why the hell is it such a big difference in the performance numbers and how can you spot it yourself? Okay, by the way, I noticed that it's not the same settings because I didn't put initial capital to 100, but guys, the percentage number is exactly the same, right? So we are looking only at the percentage numbers. Now it's exactly at the same initial capital as well, but it's still a bad strategy. So why the hell, again, is it so bad? Well, because of one function, and if I scroll way down, I can see here, the strategy is entering a long position here, right? And here, it is entering a short position. By the way, because it's parameting zero, whenever it opens a short, it automatically closes the long and the other way around. So it doesn't have more than one position at any point in time. But anyway, the problem here is that it's using the function called security and security has a feature called look ahead. Look ahead, guys. That sounds like looking into the future, which is exactly what it is, okay? Now, the problem with this function is that in version number two and number one of PineScript, this was set to true, to on, guys. Like, what the hell? Who is setting this stupid thing to on by default? Now, the default value of this look ahead is off now from version three onwards. Okay, so that is why now when you set the strategy to version three, you're getting the actual result that you would get in real life. And for the people wondering what the security function even does, it's fetching price information from a particular chart. So you can fetch price information for a completely different symbol, different chart and different time frame. But in this case, it's fetching it from the same ticker, right? So the same chart, but the period is fixed, which is quite cool because basically if the user is moving around different time frames daily, five days, one week, one month, the strategy always uses internally the same time frame to calculate its trades, which can be very helpful. So that's why this is used. But well, the problem is that it has this bug with the look ahead. I call it the bug because it should never have been turned on by default. And so this is how people can, without even knowing, they can create strategies that look like they're very profitable, but they're not. Now, the problem that you have now is how do you know even that this is the issue, right? Well, what you can do is you can do a couple of things, right? So you can click on these three dots here and then you can go about this script. And when you scroll down, because this is an open source script, which a lot of them are, you can see it's version two. So that's already a problem. You should never use version two scripts because they can have this and other issues. And then when you expand the code and you just search for security, if you find that, you already know it's bad, okay? Just don't use it. And also you can read the comments. I even left a comment here to protect people from using this, okay? But in any case, this is something you can do, right? But the easier thing to do is simply avoid scripts that are version one or version two. And they have to mention the version. There is no other way they have to put it here. And the only thing is if it's a hidden script, right, where you don't see the code, then maybe require somebody to send you a screenshot of only this top portion or the settings on the top portion, just so you know what you're dealing with. But version two is definitely not good. And you have another benefit that TradingView doesn't really like when people publish scripts with the old languages, with the old versions. So they will basically ban and they will just take them offline, right? So only the ones that are very old and they won't check them anymore, those can be a problem. But new, fresh ones, they have to be version five and version five is okay, right? So this is a massive problem that you can run into if you don't know about this problem. And again, guys, right? It's a massive difference in performance. If you see this performance, you will put all of your money, okay? And this is very risky, guys, okay? You should not put all of your money. And this is why, you're again, you're subscribing to this channel because I'm sharing this information with you guys. I'm an engineer myself, so I figured this stuff out and then I share it with you. So guys, I wanted to get rich quick. I wanted to automate this strategy and I wanted to use Signum for that because with Signum, I can automate any trading strategy in seconds without touching the code whatsoever. Like, of course not, right? And this would be so easy, right? But then after I looked at all of these things that I just mentioned in this video, I found that it's actually gonna lose me money, right? So of course I don't wanna lose my money. But if you want a good strategy, right, that you can fully automate on your own exchanges, then 
get the Gaussian channel strategy. The Gaussian channel, by the way, is not meant for the 15 minutes. It's not meant for 30 minutes, right? It's not meant for one hour. It's not meant for four hours because those are time frames where you don't have a high chance of success. It's meant for the one day chart and it works on many assets. It's a free strategy. It's one of mine. I want to help people with this. So if your portfolio is below 10K, then consider using this strategy. It makes 1,800% profit with the same settings here that you have heard also in this video since 2018. You don't have to change any of these other settings. 2018 is just the start where I start testing all of my strategies. Okay, guys. Now, this strategy works on Solana as well, and it works on other coins. So go and have fun with it. In order to get access, you need to come to our Telegram. The link is down below and just say, hey, I want access to the strategy. This is my TradingView username. Please give me access. And boom, you will get access. It's a free strategy. This is one of the better strategies that you will find on the internet because it's fully free. Okay. Having a good strategy that is free is very, very hard. Very, very hard. But that's why, again, you are here because I'm here to help you guys, okay? So you take this freaking strategy, you automate it with Signum, which takes you freaking 10 seconds, okay? If you do it right, you create an alert, you copy paste something here, you click create. It's easy, guys, okay? And so then you just leave it alone. This is the way, in my opinion. If you're searching for short-term trading strategies, then you can run into the issues that I just shown you before that you have strategies that basically mess with you because they are not really profitable. It just looks like they might be, but you have to take care of all the settings. But now, because you watch this video, you know how to test it before you lose money, guys, right? So if you like all of that, make sure to destroy the like button, subscribe to this channel, and put a freaking comment, guys, okay? Put a comment if this video helped you, okay? I see you in Telegram, and this is the next video you should watch. Dream. It's trade.